I am Elizabeth with Literacy Lubbock and I am going to take you on a tour of our office. We are actually located in the Mayhem Library. That's why I'm standing out front of the library. We have some office space in there that the city very graciously allows us to use. So that's why we're here. It can get a little confusing, especially when we have to tell our students, no, we're actually in the library, we promise. But it works out very well since, you know, we're centrally located with all sorts of resources that the city has. So let's head inside and I'll show you our office. Welcome to the Literacy Lubbock office. These are the offices that our students come to if they're interested in enrolling in one of our programs, which Gwen will get to in just a moment. But first I'm going to show you our classroom where the learning actually happens. So sit tight, we'll be right there. All right, we step out of the office and then we come right next door to our new classroom. If you'll excuse the mess, we're still trying to set this space up. We just got this room quite recently. So we're still in the process of getting it fitted out for our students, decorating it so it's nice comfortable environment and working to install all the equipment we have for it. I'm going to switch over to Gwen and Gwen is going to tell you a little bit more about our programs. So at Literacy Lubbock, our adult education programs provide learning opportunities that really are making a difference in people's lives. We have three programs serving adults, English as a second language, which is also called ESL, GED preparation, and basic education. So volunteers serve in these programs and provide direct instructions to our students. For ESL, we have classes and less formal conversation groups. Uh, we also provide one-on-one -on -one tutoring as needed. Students are learning American English communication, which includes reading, writing, speaking, and listening. But besides those skills, they are also learning about culture, which is really important. And they're making personal connections so that they can really engage with the rest of the Lubbock community. For GED preparation, we offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring. GED testing is in four subjects, language arts, math, science, and social studies. By offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring, we can help the students wherever they are in the process with any of the subjects. And for basic education, we offer one-on-one -on -one tutoring with the student and tutor paired together over a longer period of time. Volunteers teach students how to read, but students also come to us with other needs like basic math. I think that the really special thing about our work is how it connects people within the community in a way that's really meaningful for everyone involved. So even though the overarching goal is to open doors for our students, so that they can find better employment and go to further education. Um, our volunteers are also getting a sense of fulfillment by knowing that they've done something significant to help another Lubbock family. All right, and then this is our book closet. This is where we keep all of our books. We just had a Dion Summer Book Club this past weekend, so that's why some of the shelves are empty. But we have all of our books stored here. Here's our Tiny Tots books, books for breakfast, Dion Summer Book Club. Over here we have some adult basic reader books for adults learning how to read, ESL, middle grade fiction. We have some young adults over here. We got it all, ladies and gentlemen. And then we also have Julie right here. Hi, Julie. Hello. Julie is our executive director, which means she knows pretty much everything that's going on with Literacy Lovick, especially in relationship to United Way. Can you tell me percentage-wise how much United Way helps out Literacy Lubbock financially? Um, the figures are basically 50% of the budget. I think last year's budget was 54% um, was funded by United Way. Awesome. We've been a partner agency of United Way since 1999. And how many years is that for those who can't do math? I don't do math. <laughs> I calculated it. It is 21 years. We mm -hmm. have been blessed to be a United Way partner agency. Nice. And we've done some substantial good in that time frame, I think. This past year, we distributed over 9,000 children's books. <sighs> That's a lot. And helped over um, 500 students. Yeah, over 500 students. Getting their GED, learning English, learning how to read. It's It's been good. It's been awesome. Yep. All right. Well, that is our tour of Literacy Lovick, so I guess we are signing off.